Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have this week's D&D for Dummies for you guys, this time on the Kanku species. Now, as always, I'm going to run through the basic info about the Kanku, just to give you guys a rough idea of what they're going to play like if you do decide to play as one, so let's get into it. So firstly, ability score increase. When determining your character's ability scores, increase one score by two, and increase a different score by one, or increase three different scores by one, and you can't raise any of your scores above 20, as is normal. Next. Creature type, you are a humanoid. Size, your size is medium or small, so you can roughly figure out how large that is. Speed, your walking speed is 30 feet, so that, again, that's pretty normal as well. Now, moving on from that, um, expert duplication. When you copy writing or craft work produced by yourself or somebody else, you have advantage on any ability checks you make to make to produce an exact duplicate, so that's pretty handy in some situations. Now, next we have Kenku Recall. Thanks to your supernaturally good memory, you have proficiency in two skills of your choice. Moreover, when you make an ability check using any skill in which you have proficiency, you can give yourself advantage on the check before rolling the d20, so that's pretty helpful. You can give yourself advantage in this way a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus, and you regain all and you regain all expended uses after you finish a long rest. And then we have the ability called Mimicry. No, mim Mimicry. Ugh. You can accurately mimic sounds you've heard, including voices. A creature that hears the sounds you make can tell they are imitations only with a successful wisdom insight check against a DC of eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your charisma modifier. And the last thing is languages, as always. You you can speak, read, and write in common. And one other language that you and your DMs agree is appropriate for the character. Of course, you can choose any of those languages from the player's handbook. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. So please, like this video. Subscribe to my Nan Rock Sounds channel. Her link is down in the description. My button is down there. Please click those and then the bells to get our notifications and comment as well because why not let me know if you've ever played as a kanku and how it played how how well it worked for you and if you haven't played as one yet have i convinced you to play as one now once you've done that too please follow me on the social medias they'll be down in the link tree in the description along with the kanku dnd wiki dot page if you guys go and check out for that for yourselves once you've done that too please check out Roxanne's website as well and lastly please do share this video with all your friends, they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around, and around, and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with either the Astancast or the Astancast Substitute. Goodbye!